Welcome back to my channel, Miss Naturally Mary here. In today's video, I am serving y'all some extra sauce. I don't know about you all, but every now and again, I have the urge to cut my hair and I live for a good bob, y'all. And I'm sure many of you all can relate. Too often when I'm on social media, I see naturals with beautiful long hair and they decide to cut it into a bob and they're happy in the beginning. They are so chipper, excited about it. And then like a week or two later, they are devastated, filled with regret. But y'all, what I recommend is trying it before you actually try it and you can do so with a wig now this wig that I'm gonna show you guys today is some black girl magic now, I'm gonna get into the wig in a moment but I do want to show you all that this unit comes with magic balls and this is what they look like they're so cool if you're looking for some extra spice in the holiday season you want to kind of jazz up your look you can add these colorful clip-ins to your style and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in a moment but this is what one of them looks like it comes in this really beautiful platinum pink one of my subscribers has been asking me for some time now to try the color pink so this is the time that i'm gonna do it for you this look is gonna be so fun i cannot wait to show you all what it looks like so now let's get into the wig this one is called the natural layered edge wig with magic ball highlight clipping i got mine in length 12 and it comes in 200 density it also comes in length 14 as well if you desire a longer length now this particular hairline is their newly improved hairline they're calling it their natural layered edge wig and i'm showing you all a comparison between the regular pluck wig versus this particular hairline as a I'm sure you've noticed this one looks so much more realistic the lace also matches any skin tone and i'm going to show you guys how i actually tint my lace and i found a really good technique to do it so now let's try the wig on i didn't actually mention this but this is a 13 by 6 lace front wig it would have also been really good in a lace closure i hope they'll consider that in the future as well but putting it on i realized that this hairline looks so good it's perfect for even someone like me that has a low hairline the coverage was impeccable and the way they plucked it looks so good i didn't actually have to pull the unit up too far in order to cover my edges or anything and I actually really liked it in length 12 so I wouldn't necessarily recommend going up to length 14 unless you just want it longer but a true bob looks more like this than longer but do whatever works for you so now I'm showing you all the unit on my mannequin head you can really get a sense of how good the unit looks and how versatile it is you can actually pull it up in a number of different styles because the hairline looks so good it also comes with six inches of parting space so the parting is very long and it looks very natural now the knots on this unit have been lightly bleached so you can see some of the black dots but I'm gonna show you guys how to conceal that later on in the video and it's a super quick and easy method right now I'm gonna quickly show you all my natural hair wig prep for those who think you still have to cornrow your hair down well you don't lately I've just been doing two braids and I just pin it up in the back with bobby pins and then put on a wig cap it's as simple as that Now I did some playing around with my wig cap because I wasn't sure if my hair was flat enough. So I started with one wig cap initially and then I tried it with two, but then I realized you could see it through the lace and I'll show you guys that in a moment. But I am gonna show you all a really great method to avoid doing that ball cap because that takes forever and I never like doing it. So right now I'm just looking at my edges with Eco Styler Gel and then I'll show you guys the method in a moment. To make you my baby. I don't care if you think that so I wish this method did work because I did feel like it helped to flatten out my hair. That's the thing about not doing cornrows or doing the two braids. Sometimes your hair might not be as flat as you desire, but I actually just decided to go with the one stocking cap and then to just cut the center portion of the band off. And that actually worked. 
This is such a great method because it requires so much less work than the ball cap method and it's going to keep the wig cap in place. It is fitted to your head because you only cut that center portion and you don't even have to glue it down. The goal with the ball cap method is to protect your hair and to also create a scalp-like layer under your wig so that it looks like it's growing from your scalp. I almost likely be using this method all the time because it's so much faster and effective. Now I'm going to go about straightening the hair. I'm going to allow you all to watch that process and then I'll come back on when it's time to move on to the next step. You should stay. I'll cherish your heart on the daily I'll be your protection when you need safety Take a chance on me so really quickly, I do want to show you guys how I went about tinting the lace, and this really helped to mute those black dots. I'm using the Micro Smooth Powder by Sephora. I purchased this powder a while back for my makeup application, but I felt like the color payoff would be great on lace, and so I decided to try it, and I was so impressed by how it turned out. It looked so great, and it matched my scalp perfectly. The other color that I was using, I felt like was a little too orange and also a little too dark, but this is the perfect match. I'd highly recommend trying this. You may need to clean up around the part with a makeup wipe or a paper towel towel. I just decided to spray some holding spray and I'm just going to proceed to use my hot comb and my flat iron in order to straighten the hair out. That worked very well and you weren't able to see any of the powder on the hair. That powder is definitely going to be my go-to. You've been doing some pain. You've been through some things. Not open to change. You're just holding shame. Yeah. But you're not to blame. Folks love playing games. Screws loose in their brain. Your ex is insane. For doing your wrong when loving you is only right My heart skips a beat every time you're in my sights I just want to make you smile Not just with a joke I'm holding on to hope that we could be something dope Ooh. Lately, I've been wanting to make you my baby This is looking so great so far. Now I'm going to begin securing the unit down with my favorite, which is the bed head spray. I'm going to let you guys watch this process and then I'll come back on in a moment. Just vibing, ayy, cool and sippin' on Kool-Aid, ain't tryna hurt nobody, yeah, some folks out here really looking like Bevo Light, pride swelling up their head, bigger than they whole body, that's gonna be your problem, selfish just tried to get some mileage, had to change my ways cause I was out here wildin', making dumb decisions used to be so constant, Hey, but God was out here watching my back, had to fix my noggin, ooh, I've been blessed for most of my life Oh, been given grace for the times I wasn't right Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh I'm disregarding every ceiling I don't think I'll ever shake this feeling Oh my gosh, 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 yeah I'ma keep the groove like Cusco, uh, flow colder than Pluto, uh, always trying to kick it like Judo, uh, I was for the liver for the kudos, uh. I am so in love with how this turned out. I have not seen myself with straight hair in a little bit. I'm scheduled to actually get my silk press done in January, but it's so cool to achieve a similar look prior to that appointment. I'm actually planning on wearing this style for Friendsgiving, and I'd highly recommend that you all go to their website. They're actually having a 20% off sale going on from the 15th to the 26th of this month. In addition, they'll be selecting one order per day to receive full cash back so you could end up getting your order for free and that's pretty phenomenal so be sure to 
head to their website. Also check the description box for all the specifications and details regarding the Black Friday sale. And y'all look at all that movement. I know y'all are trying to look fly for your holiday parties and festivities. So this is definitely a great time to buy. Now we're going to get into the fun part. I'm going to show you all the Magic Ball Clip-Ins. Those are going to really help to jazz up your look. This wig also looks really great pull behind your ear. I also want to give you all a close up of the hairline. This natural layered edge hairline looks so great. I love how seamless it blends into my skin and that I didn't have to cut baby hairs, which is really awesome. I know that some of you guys are really not a fan of baby hair. So this is a great unit that doesn't require that you add those. All right, so now let's officially get into the clip-ins. So they come in these clear balls and I like that they kind of look like ornaments, which makes it really festive. So I'm going to take the first one out and this one is the platinum pink one. You can actually curl these or flat iron these. I prefer to flat iron it just so it matches the texture that I already have. So I'm going to flat iron it and you want to insert the clip-in along the base of your unit not necessarily at the top because it won't match the length, but the length is comparable if you place it near your ears. So you wanna first open up the clip-in and then proceed to insert the clip-in into the hair that's on the wig. And I like that it removes tension from actually being directly applied to your scalp if you were installing these clip-ins into your scalp. So this is just another way to install clip-ins without having the tension that comes with doing it on your natural hair, which is pretty awesome. And I did say earlier that you need to install these near your ears, but you can actually position it a bit higher to ensure that the lengths are consistent but if you want a longer length with your clip-ins then you can just install it in your ears and that'll create a nice funky look as well. I do also want to mention that the balls come with one clip-in per ball. When styling it would be cute with just one clip-in or you can put clip-ins on both sides so I'm showing you all what that looks like now and then we'll get into the green and blue. Uno. Shoot my shot like Juno. Uno. Done with the games no Uno. Hey I shine right like diamonds. My style you can't find it. A new A show is what I am. Got who I can find it. Y'all, this blue is giving. I decided to actually do blue on one side and I'm gonna do green on the other. Let me know what you all think about the green and the blue as well as the pink. I actually think this one was my fave, but y'all let me know down in the comment section. Oh my gosh, yeah. oh my gosh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's a bot. oh yeah, it's a bot. oh yeah. <laughs> Wow, this looks so edgy, but still chic. I just love that about it. I actually like it more than I thought I would. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I used to steer clear of color, but now I'm all about it. <laughs> this looks so great. I cannot wait to hear comments and feedback. Be sure to check the description for all the links and specifications for this unit. Also check out the Black Friday sale details. I love you guys. I look forward to your comments and feedback. Let me know which look was your favorite. Did you like it with the middle part and without the clip-ins? Did you like it with the side part? Or were you feeling pink or the green and blue? Let me know. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next tutorial. I cannot wait to hear your feedback. Bye guys. Hey, I shine right like diamonds. My style, you can't find it. A new A show is what I am. Got who I can find.